So avoid those things and bro, bro, why is there another plane here? What's up guys, my name is Ty FM, and if you're new to my channel, I help you become more confident, outgoing, and athletic. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about bulking once again, but three things you should avoid while bulking. Now, these are the things that I should have done when I was bulking way back in college. I was 150 pounds. I was lifting five to six times per week, and I bulked up to 180 pounds. Bro, I was strong like an ox. I was lifting like almost 90, 95 to 100 pounds on the dumbbell bench press. Bro, I was strong as fuck. But here's the thing, I was also fat as fuck. I had a muffin top, bro. I was sluggish, bro. I did not look good. So here's the thing that I would have done differently if I were to bulk and I am bulking. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe because I am doing a bulking series and I want you to come along the ride if you're interested in what I'm gonna be doing, what I'm gonna be eating, what my training is gonna look like. So consider subscribing. We're almost at 300 subs. But anyways, let's talk about three things to avoid while bulking. Before we even get to the video, bro, I have something special for you guys. I have masks available for sale. This whole pandemic isn't going anywhere. This is going to be the new norm from now on. Like, until the virus is gone, we got to stay safe. We got to keep our family safe. And what better way to do that than to supply with you with some masks? Now, I have so many different masks for you. Not just this one, but cats, dogs, other styles that you can rock every single day. I wasn't rocking the medical masks, you know what I'm saying? They weren't cute, they weren't adorable, and I didn't want to rock them. I, I actually didn't like wearing masks, but now that I actually have these, I rock this every single day. Like, these are dope. I could rock this every single day. Like, look how cool the design is. You know what I'm saying? So I have about six to seven different designs that you can check out in my website down below. It's gonna be the first link so that you can check it out. Check out all the other stuff that I have down below, and let's get into the video. So the first thing to avoid when bulking is pigging out. You probably have a friend, or you've done this yourself, where said yo i'm bulking i can eat where the fuck i want to eat but you gain so much body fat you get so big you get so fat and then people say yo you got kind of big so we're not going to do that anymore we're going to say lean as possible but also maximize our strength gains and muscle gains so one tip that you can do right now is tracking your food loosely you don't have to track everything to to the gram to the ounce just track your food so i suggest that you go to my fitness pal and just input generally what you're eating have an idea of what you're eating like for me i didn't track for two to three weeks and then I tracked how much I actually ate and guess what I was in a surplus of 300 to 400 calories and I was like whoa how come I jumped from like 144 pounds to 146 it was because I was eating a lot more so that's gonna help you become more aware of what you're eating so that's gonna avoid binge eating that's gonna avoid picking out that's gonna avoid putting on unnecessary amount of body fat tracking your food is gonna help you minimize fat gain but maximize your strength and muscle gain the second thing to avoid when bulking is not having a plan, not having a end goal. When you're bulking, when someone is bulking, when you see someone bulking, they're just like getting as big as possible. They're just getting as strong as possible, but they don't have a goal, right? Ask yourself this, what is the goal of your bulk? Are you trying to put on five, 10, 15, 20 pounds of muscle? And how long do you want to stay in a bulk? Are you going to get to the point where you're fucking huge and then say, hey, I'm going to start cutting now? Or do you going to have a plan and know when you're going to stop? So for me, for example, I'm going to stop bulking around January or February and if I ever get too big to the point where I'm like 155 or 160 pounds bro I'm gonna stop that I'm gonna stop bulking and then slowly decrease my calories so that I'm a little bit more leaner that I don't have too much body fat on me you know what I'm saying so tip number two to making sure that you avoid not having a plan not having a goal is making sure that you have a goal make sure that you have something to aim for are you trying to aim for strength gains are you trying to put on 15 20 50 pounds on your bench press on your squats on your deadlifts or increase the amount of reps that you do on your pull-ups or is it that you want to increase your weight you want to go from like 135 to 160 and make sure you have a time frame of when you want to stop so the last thing that you need to avoid in terms of bulking is avoiding cardio like bro cardio is not bad like cardio is there for your heart if you're not training your heart bro you're just getting fat like I don't care if you're putting on size I don't care if you're trying to put on muscle like you need cardio to make sure that you're your 
heart is healthy. You gotta train your heart. Your heart is a muscle too. So don't avoid cardio. Cardio doesn't hurt you. You don't have to do like hit cardio. You don't have to do 30 minutes of cardio. 10 to 20 minutes of just walking, bro. That's not gonna hurt you. So one thing that you can do every single day is just walk 10,000 steps. Easy. You can do that before your workout or after your workout. It's not gonna hurt your gains. This is low impact. This is what I should have done when I was bulking to maximize my strength gains, but also minimize the amount of body fat that I put on in that season. Like, bro, like, I wish I did this and I, bro, I would have stayed in the bulk for like another year or so, but I didn't. I just bulked up and I, I fuck it. I'm just gonna get fat and I hated it. So avoid those things and bro, bro, why is there another fucking plane here? These are the three things that I should have avoided when I was fucking doing my bulk. Now, this time around, I'm gonna be serious. I'm gonna be dead serious on putting on more size, getting fucking strong, and I want you to join me on this journey. Now, if you like this video and this was helpful, make sure you leave a like on this video. This is gonna help me with the algorithm and spread this to a lot more people who wanna put on size and just have people follow me on this journey. I need the motivation. I need the accountability. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. Bro, we're almost at 300 subs. So I need your help with that. And I'm super excited to share with you my transformation. And bro, I'm excited for you to join me on this journey. So with that being said, I hope you have a great day. Let's make some gains together. Peace. Peace.